Well done, Mel. Congratulations. She has just backed herself that all-expenses-paid shopping trip. Cheers, my darling. Ta-da! But really, who wants to go shopping on a day like today? It's a gorgeous day, 32 degrees, the high. And it's Wes. And not only have we got the hot weather, we've also got the hot tunes as well. George is coming in next with his weekly DIY tips in just a minute. First of all, here is what I promised you earlier on on the show. It's the very latest from Shark Fin Plectrum. So, let's get rid of these silly sound effects. And let's rock. I'm sure that I heard that you died a long time ago. Relegated to history. Sorry, mate, I tried to fridge off at my mum's. What's going on then? Roy? Just drive. Where are we going? Paradise Heights. What are we going out there for? I'll tell you when we get there, now just drive, all right? Rock and roll. All right, Christ. I'm hard to for breathing. Coming from you, ain't it? Hey, and in future, you stay away from my back wall, do you hear me? Mine's not fucking air, is it? Get in the fucking ass, little shit. Mate, forget it. Heavenly view, double glazing. Jeff, Jeff Lomax. I think you'll find this could be your lucky night, sir. <laughs> Not the way things are going so far, mate. Jeff, call me Jeff. Look, try next door, yeah? I guarantee you've never seen an offer like this. We're in the area looking for show homes. Means you end up paying only 25% list price. Listen, you haven't seen a little terrier on your travels, have you? A dog, you know. Oh, pet owner, are you, sir? In that case, you'll be delighted with our latest range in front doors, the Melbourne. Wasting your time, mate, yeah? Jeff, its lower panel is exclusively crafted to take advantage of our pet door. The cat okay. system's a work of genius. Can I call back later? Shit. Good On evening. your way, dickhead. On your way.
What if they don't go out? Let's just storm in and go and do it. Look, we're here to follow orders. No confrontation, right? Yeah. Aye, aye. Here you are. Yeah, that's our boy. One down, one to go. Where's your dad at? He's not in. You sure? Good lad. Can I have something sweet now, Dad? You what? You've already had something, you cheeky little fucker. You'll get something when I give it to you. Otherwise, you'll get the belt. All right. Well, oh, shit. Card, not the old lot. You what? These prices are ridiculous. If you don't like the prices, you can go somewhere else. Chalky? Chalky? Are you buying that? 
Well, come on then. I'm closing. Did you hear that? Yeah, all right. You said it loud enough. It's £1.75, please. Chalky. Chalky. £1.75, love. enough money. What? You've not got enough pennies, love. You'll have to put something back. One ninety-nine, please. We've got one pound seventy there. You can see that. It's not enough. It's five p. This isn't a charity shop. Besides, it's none of your business. I don't ask you how much you charge, do I? Forty pound for full. £20 for a blowjob, and Ann Job's a tenner, and it's 5p, you stingy bitch. Come on, make your mind up what you're putting back. That's one pound, please. Thank you. Thank you. Just hang on a minute, Chalky. Seventy-five pence, please. I've not finished yet. I'll have a box of coloured chalks. And a box of white chalks. That's one pound seventy-five. How much is there? You know how much is there. How much? One pound eighty-three. Keep the change. You're bad. <laughs> You'll not set foot in this shop again. You spot on there, love. Stingy bitch. Where's that fucking mong? Drawing on the walls, getting his jollies. Yeah, do you fancy a lap? Do you know whose brother that is? Yeah. Do you know Billy Alcoft? That's really good, that, mate. Who are you, Ali? An art critic of Sunday Times? Just saying. Do you speak English? Obviously not. Jive. Try being a bit more nicer, you know. Just jive, Ali. I don't know which colour to use. Don't know which colour. Oh, why you chalk it? Look, I don't really have time today. I've got things to do. Fucking hell, who's that? 
What? His girlfriend. What is? No, you dickhead. Kieran's. How does a fat swat like him get a bird like that? Personality, mate. You wouldn't stand a chance. Bollocks. Blue's a good colour. Okay, why don't you try blue then? No, blue's not right. Try it. No, I haven't got any blue left. Yeah, you have. Isn't that one there? Best colour. Yellow. It's beautiful. Aren't you? See? Yellow again now, aren't you? He said he wanted you to do a drawing for him. Eddie? Drawing? Yeah, it seemed pretty urgent. We yeah. can always finish this later. <laughs> Jeez, Lee's <Lise>. drawing. <laughs> See you later, man. Come on, let's get in. She can get to grips with me with one-eyed personality. Look, keep it in your pants. This is about settling debts. We'll go in, we'll do what I say, we'll get what's valuable, and we'll fuck off, right? Yeah. Where are we going now? Look, she's not even ready yet. We'll come back later. Yeah? Roy, where are you? Taking care of business. Don't be daft, come home. Yeah, well, I'll be home a lot quicker if you told me where he lived. Don't be so stupid as if I'm going to tell you where he lives. Cheeky bastard. Never heard of him. Yeah, can I have a taxi, please? Surgeon. Hey Zoe, what, you're walking fast, aren't you? Oh, no, I'm in a hurry, Charky. You've not seen your brother, have you? No. Good. Well, I wasn't late, right? When you see me, I was on Wapping Street, OK? You was on Wapping Street? Yeah, but only if he asked, though, Charky, yeah? Right. Have you eaten today? Yeah, had some toast. <sighs> you're not going to grow big and strong on toast, are you? Here. I ain't got time to eat them anyway. Mm. See you later, Charky, yeah? Chalky! Front door open again! Chalky! Just missed him. What are you doing here? Didn't take him long, did it? Told you you were buying enough money to chew with him. I'd like you to leave. Now. Relax, yeah? Chalky invited me in. Just wanted to make sure you were looking after my little brother. What, the way you did? Yeah, he was happy enough living with me, you know. Oh, yeah, he must have loved it every time he kicked the shit out of him because your girl's had a bad night. Because he'd drawn on the walls. Your mother would have been proud. Don't push me, Mike. If you don't like it, get out.
I'm looking for this. You hiding this from me, Mike? Fucking two grand for one of these. Like the shitless brass, eh, mate? Yeah, and you're not getting any of it. <laughs> you're a nice fucking agent or something. I'm his friend. Yeah, and I'm his brother. Blood's thicker than water, didn't it, Mike? Yeah, you should know that. You know you've had on your hands. It says here, mate, they're going to commission his work. I always think you're going to get all this. I'm not getting a penny out of it. That's right, you're getting fuck all. Yeah, we've had a chat, me and talk, yeah? I'm going to handle his money from now on. We made up, you know, bygones and all that. Perhaps he's moving back in with me tomorrow. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all sorted, mate. I told him he can draw and paint wherever the fuck he likes. Even give him money for chalk, yeah? You're going to fuck this up, mate! Okay? You what? Someone I'm on, yeah. If it gets in my way, there's no need for that, is there? You should have had a bleeding lead, shouldn't you, you knob? It's not my dog. I'm looking after it for someone. You're not doing a very good job if you lost it, are you? It wasn't my fault. Do you know Billy Alcroft? Who? Forget it. Drive. What a bleeding neighbourhood. Right, load of banjo players. Get in, Brett. You know what I mean? I know he lives around here somewhere, the little brat. I'm bleeding, kill him. I'm gonna cut his knackers off when I go on him. This is getting out of hand, Roy. Shut it. Just try. Chalky. Here, Mike, don't be looking through those bedroom windows. You might fall off your ladder. Yeah, I know. And get me ass stuck in my bucket. Now, your ass is too big for that, Mike. <laughs> hey, watch it, you. I'll be around tonight spanking yours. In your dreams, spanking your monkey more like. I haven't got a monkey. Never mind. Oh, well. 
If I don't see through the week. See you. You've not seen a little dog called Lucky, have you? Well, I have seen a dog wallet, but he didn't tell me his name. Oh, come on, this is serious. Didn't know you had a dog wallet. I haven't. I'm looking after it and the little bastard's got out. Whose is it? It's Frank's. Yeah, I'm looking after it while he's away. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It bleed and kill me. I saw one a few minutes ago. Where? Over that way. Oh, cheers, love. Listen, you will keep hold of it if you see it, won't you? Yeah, but I'm not going to be here for long and I can't exactly take it with me, can I, Wally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck off for a break your neck. Hey, it was an accident. She led me on. I was in the moment, you know. Can't put a girl to work with a broken arm and a black eye, can I? Look, I'm sorry, okay? Fucking will be if you don't fuck off. I've told you, it was an accident. Let me make it up to you. Give you some more business. You fucking what? I was gonna get in the car with you, you dickhead. You're too fucking rough. Oh, come on, you know how it is. I've got an itch that needs scratching. 100. Including compensation for what you did to Elaine. Two. Take it or leave it. I'll say it over Zoe, I'll phone you in a bit. Hey, you Ronnie. Oh, hey, Mike. What was all that about then? Oh, bloody doorstep floggers. Still at it then. Aye. Right. I'll be down the weavers in a couple of hours though. You bobby down for one? No, oh, I don't know. Just depends what time I get finished at Mrs. Mulligan's. Is. Oh, I wish she. Haven't seen her in a while. Oh, not well. Not well. Barely eating. In fact, I don't think she's eaten anything all week. What's the? Hey, there's lots of windows left. What do you mean? Are they clean or what? Well, I can't say I've noticed, Mike. You can see through them. Yeah, there's a difference between windows you can see through and windows that are clean. Yeah, you I know. I do say there is, Mike. Yes. No, I'm only saying because uh, I could give her one saw the light. I mean, I do either side and downstairs anyway. Won't take me a minute. Well, that's a nice gesture, Mike, but uh, let me have a word with her first, will you? I mean, it just might startle if she sees you suddenly appear at the window, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, listen, I won't charge her, like, but uh, don't go tell her anymore. I've still got a living to earn, you know? All right, OK, then, but let me have a word with her first, eh? Fair enough. All right, then. Hey, if I don't see you the week... 
I'll see you through the window. <laughs> That's, That's the, the tune. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tosser. It's a stunning piece of work. Do you like it? It's brilliant. I've seen a few of these around the estate. It's a shame it's not on canvas. Why? If the price was right, I might buy one. Do you want to see some on canvas? Oh, I wouldn't mind. So you got five minutes? Yeah. Well, come on then. Just up the road here. You know this fella, do you? I've known him since he was a kid. Very good, isn't he? I tell you, he's very talented. Show this fella some of your stuff. Listen, don't worry about Moses, aren't I? I'll have a word with him. This stuff's amazing. Are these all yours? Very creative. Love the way you use the colours. Is this a stranger, Mike? name's Jeff, so that means I'm not a stranger now, doesn't it? Is that your real name? Chalky? Hey, it's well set up here, isn't it? Aye. Been empty a long time. Should have been boarded up ages ago, but I got a minute down the council. Bet it's freezing in winter, though. Yeah? Well, have to worry about that much longer than will with Chalky. <sighs> He's just got his first commission. First of many, we're told. Fantastic. Hey! You're bloody good, you are, aren't you? Yes. Is he, um, uh, retarded? You are. You know, not a full shilling mark. Gifted more, like, don't you think? Oh, what? Well, I didn't mean anything. It's all so right. Uh, He's had a lot worse said about him. Oh. Got knocked down when he was a kid. Playing football with his mates. No real sense. It was six when it happened. Still is in his head. I'm really sorry. I, I just didn't... Oh, you know, you're embarrassed. It's a shame for the lad, you know. It, it... You what? It's that talent that's going to get him off this estate. If that accident had never happened, his mum would have never got him that blackboard. You know, to help with his recovery. That's when he started drawing. I see. She knew he had something. Do you know she had the whole house wallpapered in lining paper just so he could draw and paint? It looked like the Sistine Chapel. And then it was fully started moving outside. With paints and stuff. That's what pissed a few people off. In fact, it were the coppers that got him into jobs. Now when he sees a wall, if he likes it, it becomes his canvas. Right. Right. He's all right, Chalky. That bang on the head just knocked him in a different direction from everybody else. I bet you've got an eye for a bargain, eh? No, not really. But I have got an eye for a double blazing salesman who's had a bit of a bad patch. Am I right? I'm not having a bad patch. I'm top dog as it happens. Really?
going tonight? I thought you said in a few weeks. I thought you weren't leaving until you were clean. I am clean. Well, I'm not daft enough to say that I'm completely clean, but I've not touched it for three months. Oh, I mean, Nina's great. She said she's going to put me up, give me a room till I sort my own place out, and that means I can just stay as long as I want. Shall I have family like that? You ain't got family, you have you got? Oh, come on, John. You'll miss him, won't you? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, all the surprise presents, Christmas, birthdays. I wish my punters bought me things. I don't even get a bag of chips. Don't be carted down there. I don't ask for them things, if that's what you mean. So, what time are you going then? Half eight train. What's up with your face? I'm gonna miss you. Oh, come here, you damn son. Well, any chance of a threesome then? All right, darling. Look up, you prick. You're all right, Billy. Look what you're doing. Just finished work. Oh, it's all right for some, we're just starting. So, uh, you're fair. Right, this is the shower, then I'm off on the pool. Here's your mate. The name's Donna. Save it, love, you're not my type. <laughs> Where are you going? The temple. Got a purple headed fanny bedded in my trousers, and he's waiting for some exercise. Back in a minute. Ah, son, that. I'm almost tempted. So, why don't you then? I said almost, love. I have to pay for it, me. In fact, I could almost start charging for it. You are? Yeah, got me queuing up, mate. I'm blessed. Really? Yeah. You know how nature kind of overdoes it every now and again? My mate just done me a very big favour. I could donate six inches to medical research and I'd be okay. You know what I mean? They call me Zorro after the legendary swordsman. Uh, it's yours, Zorro. Should have said. Fair to you. Everyone has. I'm a legend round here. Although it's more like a curse, really. It's like I'm possessed. Or it's possessed. Do you know, I can't remember the last time I woke up alone. Oh, poor you, eh? No one ever understands. It's the reaction I get from everyone when I try to explain. Nobody ever gives me a chance. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, it's all right, love. Your reaction's totally understandable. <laughs> this is an addiction. It's got no conscience. Married or single. Sees what it wants. It's just in there. And I'm forced to go along after that. I feel so terrible afterwards. Maybe you should get some help. God. What I wouldn't do to be celibate. Daughters and wives, because Zorro's coming out to play tonight. <laughs> no luck then. Nah, I think I'm giving it away. No chance of a free sample then. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Billy? Absolutely. Can I see you thinking about it? Five yeah. minutes. Five glorious minutes. What's five minutes in the grand scheme of things, eh? Yeah, baby. Five minutes to release all that tension. Five glorious minutes that I can swear it'll be the best five minutes you've ever had. Yes, baby. <laughs> I don't think so, Billy. You are? I wouldn't touch you with a barge, Paul. But you touch him over there. you want to and you don't give a fuck whose life you mess up you're a dog billy yeah well it's a dog's life in it love it's your lost bitch 
Wake up, Billy! He won't. He'll end up like us. Lost in a room. Not me, anyway. Cherie! Do you want a drink? Yeah, in a minute. That's what happened. She bowled it again. Yeah, I fucking know that. I was waiting around all night. It's not easy for either of us, Moses. Oh, it's you, in it, Kieran? No. Come on, I've seen this before. I don't blame you. It's not easy, is it? It's just a thought of some pervert. His hands running all over her. Can't stand it. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get used to it. I'll never get used to it. Yeah, you fucking will once the money starts coming in. I mean, it's not for long, is it? £200 a night if she plays the cards right. <laughs> Landlord's happy, bailiffs are happy. No worries about living on the streets and you two can keep your little love nest, can't you? You know it's a wise move and you know what, so does she. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Just making ends meet, aren't you? Look at the papers, man. Check out girls are doing it. Receptionists are doing it. Even nursing home supervisors are doing it. Tell you what, it's becoming respectable. If I don't watch me back, I'll be getting myself a good name. What if she gets hurt? I'd never forgive she myself if what? anything happens Fucking to what? I'm not just a man out there, you know. I fucking look after these girls, yeah? They're safe. In ten years of me doing this, none of my girls have had any shit. All my girls love me like I'm their daddy. I protect them. I look after the clean them, man. I told you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's not fucking good enough. No, just one more fucking night, yeah? No, you've had enough. I'm well, sorry, yeah, I've got to just need one more. Night. Problem? Mind your own fucking problem. I'll have that drink now. I'm fucking dying of thirst, eh? Keep telling you, mate, it wasn't there. I've checked there as well. It wasn't there, mate. I'll phone you back in a minute, right? Are you doing it or what? I'll have a bus terminus, half an hour. I'll see you then. Where Billy Alcroft lives. Who? Billy Alcroft. Never heard of him. So you do all the windows round here? Yeah. And you live down here in Aldeo? Yeah. And you don't know who Billy Alcroft is? That's right. It's all right. I'll find him. 
Hey, and when I do, I'm going to ask him if he knows any window cleaners, you know what I mean? I'm not sure I do, mate. Do you want to step out of the van and explain it to me? Not now. I'm on a bit of a mission. But if I see you later, I'll guarantee to give you a full explanation. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mate. Believe me, it'll be crystal clear. Drive. <laughs> Roxana, my name's Roxana. Sorry, Roxana. Jesus Christ, who the bloody hell's dressed you? Me. I think you better go on and finish your job, don't you? Sod off, you cheeky get. Does your mum know you dress like that? Of course she does. I bet she doesn't. Where are you going anyway? Down the youth club with Francine. Bollocks, more like down the temple. Don't be a daft, Mike. You know one old enough to get in there. Come on, come on and miss boss. Fuck is everyone? Oh, hi, Rosie. Where's Donna? Where's Cherie? How should I know? How much you got? Nothing yet. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? What the fuck have you been doing? It's been quiet, Moses. I think I'm here, innit? Just up a bit of business for you. Who with? do not fucking matter, does it? It's paying customer. Yeah, but who? Is that why it's quiet? What? You, you get into using something, you don't like the look of them, so you don't get in a fucking car. No. Well, it don't matter then, does it? No. Yes, yeah, so. Starts Brindle. Meet you down at the fucking brook. No way, Moses. You what? He's a freak. I'm not going with him. Not after what I did to Elaine. I've fucking got time for this, you know. <gasps> You're getting in that car. I've to force you myself. And if you don't, you're coming home with me, yeah? I'll show you he's a fucking freak. Hey, <coughs> Zoe. Oh, shit. You all right? Fuck off, Joe. You're going to scribble on someone's wall. It's fucking got fuck all to do with you. It's fine, Chalky love. I'm okay, we're only playing. Playing rough. <coughs> fuck off! If you don't piss off, I'll knock you so hard, you'll fucking wake up normal. Just let me go. He knows you're hurting me. If you let me go, it'll go. Just go, Chalky love, I'm all right. Play nice, you'll make you cry. Fucking warned you, didn't I? <coughs> you bastard! <coughs> I'll go. 
I'll go, okay? You fucking will, 7.30 down the brook. <laughs> you don't make things very easy for me, do you, Chalky? <laughs> yeah, let me have a look at you. Come here. Fucking go. Am I right? Am I right? You get off me! <laughs> So we'll see you tomorrow morning then, yeah? Chalky. Look, do you want me to do that to Mike? Do you want me to do it to Shere? No. No. See you tomorrow morning then, yeah? Go off home now, yeah? We don't want Mike worrying where you are now, do we? They're clever, don't they? They think they're more smarter than us. That's what Sharon thought. But she slipped up, didn't she? Eh? Yeah, she slipped up. I sorted her out. You know, Vin? You know. No, you dickhead. I stopped a night's out. And as for him, he's a fucking dead man. A dead man walking, that's what he is. Jesus oh. Christ! Shagged your missus. What are you laughing at? I wasn't laughing. Well, you were, you were laughing. I wasn't laughing, me, honest. I saw you. Well, you're making me nervous, yeah. Just put the knife away. This is not funny. Yeah. It's about a million miles away from being funny, right? That's what they were doing, laughing at me. Laughing at me, 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 Temple too. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you lift if you want. It's all right, I don't bite, you know. What about my shoe? Stop off at yours on the way. Come on, don't be shy. Real? <laughs> Two, two minutes. It happens every week. I know exactly what I'm doing. Right. So he's a mate of yours? A teammate. But it's the same, isn't it? He plays for the grey mare with me every Sunday. But he wasn't there this week. Wonder why, eh? Wonder 
fucking why? They signed him up two months ago. Had a bit of strength in depth, like. Only supposed to be available if called upon, so to speak. But before I knew it, he'd weaved his way in, right up to the starting lineup. Playing in my position! I'm sat on the bleeding sidelines, getting all the grief off the lads. Bring your boots, Roy, you might get a game. And I'm taking it. I'm having a laugh with him. He never even turns up for training. Yeah, he's guaranteed a game every Sunday. He's got a nickname. Zorro. Because he's a bit of a swordsman. Scores more off the pitch than he does on it. And he's banging in loads on the pitch. Yeah? <laughs> Caught a glimpse of it in the shower. Not that I was locking, right? I never said you was. Yeah, well, you could hardly miss it. I tell you, most guys would wish they had the bane in that one. See, last week he turns up late. I'm already down the pitch, playing me heart out. The boss takes me off and puts him on. to the boss saying I should have stayed on because at least I got there on time, yeah? The boss says... Roy, just shut it right. He's been burgled. You fucking knobhead. And he was quiet. Not his usual self, like. We all put it down to the fact that he'd been burgled and perhaps he'd lost some sentimental possessions, you know? Anyway, a couple of nights after, Jeff tells me he was out with him the night before and some bird comes up to him down the temple and starts having a pop at him. Turns out there's a videotape going round her area that's got him shagging the ass off her on it. Well, don't ask me how, but one of the lads gets hold of one of the tapes and brings it to that week's training session. Zorro's not turned up, though, and there's this big argument broke out about whether to give it him back or not. So, we has a vote, and decides to give it him back. After we've watched it. So it's all back to my house, a few beers, and the tape goes on. <laughs> Well, it is full <laughs> of the fittest beard you've ever seen. No wonder he won't turn up for training. It's a wonder he could get out of bed in the morning. So he orders a pizza and it arrives. And I nips in the kitchen by Mr Perfect Toast. While they're all whooping and roaring at the time as he gives it these birds. I'm cutting it up into nice triangles. Oh, is it? Suddenly it all goes quiet. I think the tape's finished. I pick up the plates and head into the front room. Now, Sharon, I can forgive. Never let it be said that I'm an unreasonable man. We sorted it out like mature adults. That's loud, man. Yeah, they're laughing at you all over your stay. I know she'll never stray again. Right, let's give it a go. But him, no way. I've been dreaming about what I'm going to do to him. No one messes with Roy Butterworth and gets away with it. Roy, look, I know you're annoyed, mate, but don't Annoyed? You... I'm not annoyed, Ali. Annoyed is what you get when a fly lands in your beer. This has gone well beyond that. Yeah, but why don't you just batter him? I am going to batter him. I'm going to kick seven colours out of him. So what do you need a knife for? You can't kill someone. I'm not going to have... kill him. So why the knife? I'm going to cut his knackers off. Yeah, that could kill him. Bollocks. You can't. Can't I? Watch me. They'll lock you up, you daft bastard. I don't care. He's made a laughing stock of me and he's going to pay for it.
Hi, Elise. Karen, where are you? I'm on my way now. I'll talk to you when I get back. Have you spoke to Moses? Everything's going to be all right. You've not spoke to him, have you? Listen, I can't talk to you now. I love you. I'm going home. Don't be a dick, get in. I'm going home. Do you feel like some smelly perf shagger that? No. Are oh, you going to be sleeping in the skip, are you? A piss shop, shop doorway. Five minutes. You'd be sorted. What's your problem? You lose, eh? Remember, loads of shouting, scare the shits out of them, right? Loads of shouting. No names. No names. Not yet! Do you want everyone to know? Shit. For me. Fucking what? I told you. She never showed. Fucking half an hour I waited. I don't fucking believe it. I thought you wanted this money. Maybe I should just sort myself out, eh? I'll tell you what, I'll phone you back in a bit, you I saw it. They've only got what's in the till. But the safe is about two feet behind them. You can see everything with the doors open. Fucking hell, Nick, I don't know. What do you think we're going to use? Ass language? Look, I could only get this one. So, as it is, I'll shit them up. You grab the cash. Kieran, it's not fucking loaded. Fucking kill me. Yeah, but she'll love you tomorrow. Well, you want to tell me what the fuck is going on since when were you in charge? I'm not in charge, but I'm not a piece of meat either. Daz Brindle, he's a fucking animal. Why are you setting me up with him? Yeah, but you do what I say, don't you? What the fuck is your problem, eh? It's always fucking you, innit, Zoe? Why pick me? Why not your precious Cherie or something? After all, she's the one doing a runner on you. What do you mean? She's doing a moonlight. She's the one that deserves Daz Brindle. Shouldn't you be meeting me? What, we're going to wait here all night, are we?
Bob's a tick and half the world to get over to you, Billy. Can't be why. I think you can. And you're out of order with these two. What? I'm only giving them a list. Well, there's nothing else on your mind. Nope. And anyway, it's not me, it's me purple headed Fanny Ferret. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Mike. I don't believe in crapping on my own doorstep. Know what I mean? Oh, bleeding hell, how long does it take to change a pair of shoes? <laughs> if a girl changes her shoes to go out, you can guarantee she's going to change everything else. <laughs> Why'd you keep looking up there? It's Mrs. Mulligan's. I'm thinking of giving the windows a quick rub. We'll rub them. I'm fed up with this bloody charade. Yeah, he's worming pretty thin. Pathetic, actually. Yeah, I know it is. But at least it's over with now, isn't it? So you're not ashamed of me anymore, then? No. Ashamed of myself, more like. I'm not so old that I can't change, you know. Didn't want one. Right. No, I didn't want one. What are you still there for? This is Cherie's spot. Just leave it, Charlie, alright? Not right. Talk it, please. I don't understand. You want answers, ask your brother. To know. I just want you to know that. Oh, you're such a stupid, stubborn little bitch. I tried to tell you we're not good for you, but you. It was my choice. Ah, bloody shit one. Like all the others you've made. Yeah? Well, my guiding light disowned me, didn't he? So, what do you want me to do? Get down on bended knee and beg forgiveness? I do not. That'd be like Hitler saying sorry for World War Two. That's your mother speaking. Piss off, you miserable old git! And there's Aunt Nina. Say hello to me when you see her, will you? You know what? It's times like this why I see why you and Nina move 400 miles away. You need to sort your head out. It's no wonder you're on your own. You yeah, well, that was my choice. Life's less complicated. I'll see you both at Christmas.
Love you, Toby. Yeah. You better get gone, aren't you, before he finds out. Well, come on. You want me to go? No. I, I love you to bits, but you, this area, and that bastard, just don't go together. Come on. Where are we going? To get your stuff. I'm going to take you there myself. Come on. Still buzzing. Unbelievable. This sorts everything. I'll see you later. Hey, I was thinking about maybe uh, a petrol station tomorrow night. It's a piece of piss, what do you reckon? No way. And dump these fucking wheels. Just get up your ladders and clean the window, why don't you? Because I don't want to upset Ronnie. Well, he's a knob anyway. What do you mean? That neighbourhood watch thing, always flitting in and out of there. Yeah, so? so yeah, maybe he's giving her one. <laughs> Show some bloody respect for you. <laughs> OK. Well, how come he picks up a pension? Community spirit. If that's the case, why won't he let you clean the windows? Yeah, just give him a rub, eh? Lisa! Lisa! Did you find anything? Oh, just a couple of fucking phones and that. Oh, well, come on, on then, let's go. Come no, on, I've got the TV. Go you're fucking on, paying me for that. Sweetheart. Lisa! No! Can you see out? Jesus Christ, she's dead! Looks like she's been dead for weeks. There he is! Oh my God! There's a speed limit, but this is ridiculous. Look, there's a car in front of me, love. I can't go any faster. Do you not believe in overtaking? Hey! 
Where you going? Too fast! Oh, with my leg! I think I brought my leg! You should have oh. killed the bastard, mate. He's a fucking murderer! I'm not! I'm not! She's been dead for ages! I've just been claiming a pension! Well, it serves you like your oh. thieving old git! Oh. Shit, it's a new body, that, mate! You! <laughs> what? What's your problem, mate? You're not so cool, kick love, I know, are you? Swagging on me! Uh, fucking! Uh, 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 what's that, uh, Swag? Uh, fucking! Uh, you! This fucking way! Ambulance. <laughs> Who's that purple headed fanny ferret, Billy? Uh Okay, and I'm fucking queuing up round here. It might as well be you, innit, eh? Put it down, Chucky. Fucking had enough anyway. Come on, pull the trigger. What are you waiting for? Oops. Shut it. You're gonna shoot your own brother, yeah? Fucking go on, shoot me. Think about your mother, Chucky. Is this what she want? You what, his mum? You're having a fucking laugh, aren't you? Oh, she was a proper angel once, eh? Sound with us until we got in the way of a bottle of gin or a shag, wasn't it? 
That was before the accident. Think she had any time for you after that? She fuck. I had to do it. I had to do everything. Yeah, me. I was his fucking mum. You know, fuck all you. Like, you think you know everything. You don't know anything. Don't know nothing. Don't fucking look at me like that. I've had it for fucking years. Your childhood, you've still fucking got it, me. I never fucking had one. Tell him, Chucky, tell him he looks after you. I fucking fed you, I closed you. I you fucking ass, did I? Stop. You need to fucking know. What went on, you know what I mean? Who looks after you? What did I do? I fucking held your hand at night. I got you that blackboard, didn't I? Where was what? Mum loved me. I fucking hate you, dude. The worst thing that happened to her was you not dying on that road. No. She loved me! She said that to me. She fucking hated you. No. She did she hate you? just couldn't stand the sight of you after what happened. She's in a nut house if it weren't for me. Who loved you? Who are your mum? Who loved you? Jesus, yeah? Jesus. <laughs> Somebody call an ambulance. Chucky, stay still. You'll be all right. You're going to be all right. Chucky. It's going to be all right. Come on, just hold on, Chucky. Just hold on, Chucky. Just hold on. Don't move him. Don't move him. Looking for a place to hide Still scratching around in the same old mind Waiting for the answers to arrive For all of the questions that I've managed to keep inside And no one ever said it would be easy Come to those who wait Patience, the virtue And every other cliche With or without you I'll find my way I'll find my way The sun will rise, the sun will set 
nothing that I can do about that. And in the past, you've had the last laugh. You know it's easy preaching from your welcome mat. Let me take your hand so you can see for yourself. As we stand on higher ground to look back at ourselves, no one ever said it would be easy. And good things come to those who wait. Patience, the virtue, and every other cliche. With or without you, I find. My heart feels like an empty city street. I've never felt the sand beneath my feet. And I could travel the world and sail the seven seas. Well, it's funny sometimes how things fall at your feet. I'm looking for a place to. I'm still scratching around in the same old mind, waiting for the answers to arrive. For all of the questions that I've managed to keep inside, and no one ever said it would be easy. And good things come to those who wait. Patience, the virtue, and every other cliche. And with or without you, I find my way. And no one ever said it would be easy. And good things come to those who wait. Patience, the virtue. And every other cliche, and without without you, I'll find my.